Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Dom from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. A few months ago, you may remember I did a video showcasing the Blackmagic Atom Mini HDMI switcher. Well, this week I'm back with the Atom Mini Extreme ISO. And if you can't tell, I'm already using the Extreme ISO to live switch between the elements of this video as we speak. So, I'm going to briefly talk about the physical characteristics of the Extreme ISO, figure out what separates it from the less extreme Atom Mini and Atom Mini Pro, and most importantly, we're going to take a look at the post-stream workflow that the Extreme ISO allows for in DaVinci Resolve, which of course is Blackmagic Design's editing software. So first things first, let's take a look at the layout and design of the Extreme ISO. First, it's worth mentioning that it's not any different physically from the original Atom Mini Extreme. The only difference with the ISO is something internal, which we'll get into shortly. The Extreme ISO is about 14 and a half inches wide and about one and a half inches tall and weighs less than three pounds. It's quite a bit larger compared to the Mini and Mini Pro, which are only about nine and a half inches. And speaking of those inputs, it's got eight HDMI inputs two HDMIs for output, and two USB outputs, which is important if you want to be able to record out to a drive and connect to a PC. It's also got two 3.5 millimeter mic jacks for two microphones and one for a set of headphones. It's also got an ethernet jack, which allows for a much more direct way of live streaming and a locking DC power in. So as for the button layout of the Extreme ISO, I'm just gonna go over them section by section pretty quickly, just explaining what those buttons are. And then in the demo, you'll be able to see what those actually do. So starting in the top left, you've got some basic controls for your two mic inputs and for your headphones out. To the right of that is your bus select, which is basically all about assigning sources for effects, transitions, and keying. Next to that, you can toggle your key one and downstream key one. And next to that, you get controls for recording to an external drive. And a tally light up there shows green when a disc is connected and red when you are recording to a disc. And as you can tell, I'm recording to a disc right now. And also you can stop and start a live stream directly from the switcher here with these two buttons. Below that are some controls for picture in picture. And next to that are six buttons for some pre-recorded macros. Below that are several effect durations. And then this whole section here is for different transition effects. The section next to that is all for HDMI output and several different viewing options for your program monitor. Finally, on to the main part of the switcher. These are all the camera and audio controls for the eight HDMI inputs. This top row will only apply to compatible cameras, but there are basic controls for focus, gain, black level, and shutter control. And the entire row below that is for audio controls, including audio follows video. Below that are of course the eight queuing buttons for all the eight HDMI inputs. And to the right of that are buttons for media slots one and two, super source, and black video. And finally, we have a hard cut button an auto transition button, and a fade to black. Okay, so that's the brief button layout of the Atom Mini Extreme ISO, and if you're still unclear about what some of those do, now I'm gonna demonstrate a lot of the functions of this thing, so hopefully some of those will become more clear.
Okay, so now you've seen what the Atom Mini Extreme can do. Now it's time to circle back to the thing that makes this thing really special and what separates it from the original Atom Mini Extreme. The Atom Mini Extreme ISO can individually record clean HDMI signals from all of its inputs, as well as separating the audio tracks from the video in separate folders. And it saves the whole recording of the program as well. So not only this, but the real game changer is that it also saves a DaVinci project file that allows you to re-edit the whole program in post. Okay, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video showcasing what you're able to do with the Atom Mini Extreme ISO HDMI switcher from Blackmagic Design. So if you have any questions about the Extreme ISO or any of the other awesome HDMI switchers that Blackmagic Design has been rolling out recently, drop a comment in the comment section below and we'll start a discussion. Also, if you happen to like this video, hit it with a thumbs up button down below to let me know you liked it. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed, you can hit that bell button down below to get notified whenever we post new content, which is every week. So take care, and we'll see you in the next one.